Hey guys, I uh, haven't done a YouTube video in a while, so let's chit chat, shall we? Um, man, you know, I've been really angry lately. I, I didn't realize that I had been so angry, and I'm one of those people that will suppress his irritation and anger at times to the point where I don't even realize I haven't let it out. And everything has been pissing me off, and I have to really take a look at that too. And and how I get affected by things, and I'm trying to get better at it. I just, I get affected too easily. Um, and, and social media and places like that, and TV and government and politics, it's like, you know, and then I remember, um, I think it was Louise Hay had written a book, you know, You Can Heal Your Life, and it talks about sending love and light to the things that you don't want to deal with. And Brian Wilson's plan, let's turn Brian down. So, you know, it's like, if you don't like, I remember I was breaking up with someone and it was awful. I just wanted this person. I just get away, get away, get away. And I was so caught. I was so angry, so mad. And then I just started going, you know, I wish you love and light. There's nothing I can do about this. I wish you love and light. I wish you love and light. She was gone within two days. Now she didn't disappear. She just moved states away within two days. And I'm trying to do that with other things. Um, you know, if it's a bill, I can't even take care of. So if that comes up, I would send love and light to it. Um, I used to be those people who would get on Twitter and Facebook and I would pontificate and get angry about Trump and this and that and everything else. And it wasn't working. And I don't, and matter of fact, in those situations, I found that it made things worse because I found that negative will feed on negative. It's how it keeps going. So if I was upset, you know, the administration or something like that, and I'm anti-Trump, I'm not going to go, he's bad, he da 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 I won't do that. Now I'll go, hey, man, that's fibbing. That's lying. Still send you love and light. And I'll even use the hashtag love and light. And I suggest many of you use that hashtag. Could you imagine what would happen if you guys started using that hashtag love and light when you started to go against things that you didn't like? Could you imagine if the president saw love and light all over Twitter towards him? Then he's going, oh, everybody loves me, but he actually looks at what's being said. Maybe something. Now, some of you guys, you know, you don't care and you think, you know, I'm being liberal. I'm actually a moderate, not a liberal. Um, but I'm going to start to do that. I'm going to start to send love and light to what I don't like. Social media, I'm going to do the same thing. You a jackass, love and light. Um... You know, uh, if a breakup happens that you don't want, love and light to it. If you have something in, uh, who's not your friend, more of your frenemy or whatever, you know what, I can't do anything about it. Love and light to them. You know, family member that gets on your nerves. You know, you're going to sit there and argue with them for two hours or are you going to do something in which they're talking about love and light? Why? Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm starting to get out of focus. So love and light, love and light, love and light, love and light to everything. Um... Bless it all. I guess that's what some healers talk about, just blessing it all. Buddha talking about blessing it all, the bad and the good. I am so grateful for some of the shittiest relationships I ever had because they brought me to the one I have now, which is much better than what I had before. Um, although that poor person's got to deal with my crazy attitudes for the last month or so. I, and, I, you know, I, I guess it might be because I don't like change. Uh, might be because I suffer from a bad case of assholeism. I don't know. But I think what it is is that it's me not expressing. It's also me not praying and meditating. Prayer is talking to God. Meditation is just hearing. Um, and there are no real shoulds here. All I know is that I should do that to be better. Um, God doesn't should me to death at all. At least my God does it. It's like, hey, here's some options. You want to try option A? Do it. If you want to choose option B, do it. Um, he's not real pushy in that way. You must do it this way. Mm -mm. But I've also learned that there is a universal law. What you send out is what you get back. So if you're on Twitter or whatever and you're sending out all this hate, you won't get it back. Now, remember what I said. The negative is feeding on the negative. You're allowed to talk about what you want. You just send love and light. Hashtag love and light. Send it to people you don't know. There are little mini prayers that say that I hope the best happens here. Love and light equals I hope the best will happen here for everybody. A win-win situation. 
uh, there was a life coach, uh, a woman named Kelly Canal for years, which would, I remember I was going to a situation in which it would keep me, I could either stay in the state or be able to move and have a new life doing something else, but we had to wait on a legal matter for us to be able to do that. And I never could get a straight answer out of my coach. And so you got to pray for a win-win situation. And all I knew was that I started to go, hey, what's best? I hope I get a win-win situation out of this. Love and light, love and light. We go to court to have the hearing and child care and all this stuff. And um, judge says, you guys have full custody, but you can't leave the state. Now, at that time, I, we almost passed out because we had sold things or ready to move. We did, you know, our lawyer had said, you ain't got nothing to worry about. It's going to be fine. Um, it wasn't. However, it was a win-win situation because we were able to leave in a manner two and a half years later that was much more conducive to our happiness and a better growing experience for someone else in the family and what they had to go through. So it was love and light. It was love and light. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been on YouTube as much. Um, I'm trying to get that done, but YouTube's got all this stuff going on. And I'm still trying to figure it all out. I'm a little slow that way. Uh, please don't forget to come visit my Facebook business page, Rick Wood Intuitive Life Coach. I'm also on Instagram. Um, and rickywood.net has all the information about me. I hope you guys remembered this today. Use the hashtag love and light even when you're bitching and complaining. It's going to change the world. Remember I said that. I, I, love and light. Take care, guys.